Ezra, Venechem, Yah, Nehemiah 13. On that day they read in the Sefer of Moshe, in the audience of the people, and therein was found written that the Ammoni and the Moavi should not come into the assembly of Elohim for ever, because they met not at the children of Yashara'el with bread and with water, but hired at Bil'am against them, that he should curse them. Howbeit our Elohim turned the curse into a blessing. Now it came to pass, when they had heard at the Torah, that they separated from Yashara'el all the mixed multitude, and before this, El Yashiv, the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our Elohim, was allied unto Toviyahu. And he had prepared for him a great chamber, where aforetime they laid at the meat offerings, the frankincense and the vessels, and the tithes of the grain, the new wine and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the Leviim, and the singers and the porters and the offerings of the priests. But in all this time was not I at Yerushalayim, for in the two and thirtieth year of Artach Shashta, king of Babel, came I unto the king, and after certain days obtained I leave of the king. And I came to Yerushalayim and understood of the evil that El Yashiv did for Toviyahu in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of Elohim. And it grieved me sore, therefore I cast forth at all the household stuff of Toviyahu, out of the chamber. Then I commanded, and they cleansed the chambers, and thither brought I again the vessels of the house of Elohim, with eth the meat offering and the frankincense. And I perceived that the portions of the Leviim had not been given them, for the Leviim and the singers that did the work were fled every one to his field. Then contended I with the rulers, and said, Why is the house of Elohim forsaken? And I gathered them together, and set them in their place, then brought all Yahudah the tithe of the grain, and the new wine, and the oil, unto the treasuries. And I made treasurers over the treasuries, Shalom Yahu, the priest, and Sedoch, the scribe, and of the Leviim, Pedayahu, and next to them was Hanan, the son of Zachur, the son of Matanyahu, for they were counted faithful, and their office was to distribute unto their brethren. Remember me, O my Elohim, concerning this, and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my Elohim, and for the offices thereof. In those days saw I in Yahudah some treading wine presses on the Shabbat, and bringing in sheaves and lighting asses, and also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens, which they brought into Yerushalayim on the Shabbat. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals, they dwelt men of Sor also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Shabbat unto the children of Yahudah, and in Yerushalayim. Then I contended eth with the nobles of Yahudah, and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do, and profaneth the day of Shabbat? Did not your fathers thus, 
And did not our Elohim bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Yashadael by profaning at the Shabbat. And it came to pass that when the gates of Yerushalayim began to be dark before the Shabbat, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened till after the Shabbat. And some of my servants set eye at the gates that there should be no burden brought in on the Shabbat. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Yerushalayim once or twice. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Shabbat. And I commanded the Leviim that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and guard the gates to sanctify at the day of Shabbat. Remember me, O my Elohim, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. In those days also saw I at Yahudim, that had married women of Ashdod, of Amon, and of Moab. And their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Yahudit's language, but according to the language of each people. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by Elohim, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. Did not Shalomah, king of Yashadael, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him, who was beloved of his Elohim, and Elohim made him king over all Yashadael. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Shall we then hearken unto you to do eth all this great evil, to transgress against our Elohim in marrying strange women? And one of the sons of Yoyada, the son of Eleshiv, the high priest, was son-in-law to Kanbalat, the Korhani, rather Korani. Therefore I chased him from me. Remember them, O my Elohim, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and of the Leviim. Thus cleansed I them from all strangers and appointed the wards of the priests and the Leviim, every one in his business. And for the wood offering, at times appointed, and for the first fruits, remember me, O my Elohim, for good.